In this video, we're going to be looking at solving algebraically a quadratic slash quadratic system. So number three, I have y equals x squared minus 6x plus 7, and then y equals negative x squared plus 7. So here, again, I see they're both equal to y, so I can set these equal to each other. And so I have x squared minus 6x plus 7 is equal to negative x squared plus 7. I want everything to be on one side, so I'm going to add x squared and subtract 7 to both sides. And so I get 2x squared minus 6x, 7 minus 7, that cancels out, is equal to 0. Now I want to solve this quadratic. Here I have two terms, and I see that I have a GCF of 2x. So I want to factor out a 2x. And when I factor that out, I'm left with x minus 3. And so then solving this, I have that 2x equals 0, or x minus 3 is equal to 0. So I divide 2 from both sides, and I get that x equals 0. Add 3 to both sides, and I get that x is equal to 3. Now I need to find the corresponding y coordinate with those values. And so I'm going to first have it for x equals 0. Here, looking between these two, I think the second one's a little bit easier to plug in just because there's only two terms. So I have y equals negative 0 squared plus 7. So y is equal to 7. So my first coordinate is going to be 0, 7. Now I need to find it for when x equals 3. So in x equals 3, I have y equals negative 3 squared plus 7. 3 squared is 9, so I have negative 9 plus 7. So that means that y is equal to negative 2. And so my second coordinate is going to be 3, negative 2. Okay, let's look at one last one. Okay, so now for number four, I have y equals 2x squared minus 5x plus 2, and y equals negative x squared minus 2x. So they're both equal to y, so that means they're both equal to each other. So I have 2x squared minus 5x plus 2 is equal to negative x squared minus 2x. I want this to be in standard form, so I'm going to add x squared and 2x to both sides. So I get 3x squared minus 3x plus 2 is equal to 0. So you could go ahead and try and factor this using the AC method. So 3 times 2, I get 6. And I'm looking for two numbers that are going to add to negative 3. However, I see with both of my factors, neither of them add to negative 3. And so... This can't be factored, so that means I'm going to go ahead and use the quadratic formula. I'll label my a, b, and c. A reminder, the quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. My b value here is negative 3, so the opposite of negative 3 is positive 3, plus or minus b squared, so negative 3 squared minus 4 times a, which is 3, times c, which is 2, all over 2 times a, which is 3. And so when I simplify inside, negative 3 squared, I get 9, minus 4 times 3 is 12, times 2 is 24. So 9 minus 24, I get negative 15 over 6. However, we learned that when you take a square root of a negative number, you get imaginary numbers. And here, to find solutions to systems, we're only looking for real solutions. Because if you were to graph this, it wouldn't intersect. So here, this is going to be no real solution because of that negative number. If I were to graph both of these quadratic functions, I would see they never intersect.